common problem you get with a lot of 90s Toyotas and other makes of vehicles is when you go to a standalone ECU, your tachometer no longer works. And that's because in this case, on this Toyota Starlet, it's driven off a high voltage signal that comes off the igniter. We want to use the standalone ECU output for Link or Haltech or whatever you've got to drive the tachometer. So what we need to do is take this apart. This is a Galanza gauge cluster. A lot of Toyotas will be the same. Don't need any fancy tools. Little screwdriver. I'm going to use the cheapest soldering iron solder here as well. I've also got this uh, soldering wick which will help desolder the existing resistor. Need one of those pliers just in case I need them. Go ahead and dismantle the gauge cluster. You obviously need want to be very careful not to touch any of these needles. I'm only wanting to remove this here. After you undo all the screws, this will just pull out. And you have some that are longer, some that are shorter. There's your boost lights board. You just pop that out of the way to the side there. This is the point where you bring your multimeter in. Set your multimeter to ohms. They call this one a 43 kilo ohm. This resistor here, that's the one we want to desolder. Turn the solder and iron on, let it get nice and hot. I'm not going to teach you how to solder or how to desolder. If you want to do that, there's a guy, EEV blog. I'll put a link in the description. That's where I learned how to solder. Basically, what I'm going to want to do here is use a soldering wick in between uh, the soldering iron and the blob of solder there. And if I press it against it, the solder will heat up and it will do exactly what you think it would do. It wicks up onto this stuff here yeah, and that lets us remove that. You'll notice that it's sort of bent over the little the little legs on this have sort of curled under, so that's going to make it a little bit more difficult to remove, but we'll get there. There's a the solder starting to melt there. On this side here, it started to wick up the solder. I still need to wick up that side there. There you go. So. Maybe may hard to see in the camera, but I've bent the le the legs were bent over the circuit board, so I've sort of bent them. They're now straight, so I'm now just going to use a soldering iron to push them through. There you go. So that's the 43 kilo ohm resistor removed. Just cut off the little, little bit of soldering wick, and that's done its job. Soldering wick makes this job a lot easier. Now need a new resistor. So these are all one kilo ohm. We'll just get the multimeter to confirm. Yep, one kilo ohm. Now, I want to just copy the shape. I'm going to cut the legs off this a little because I don't need them to be that long. I'm going to just fish this in. There you go. And then I'll just do exactly as was done. Bend the little leg over. Bend the other leg over. And then nip off, leaving enough to hold on to it. And then it just needs soldered back on. So solder this new one in place and that's it done. And then reassemble. Take the EEV blog's advice on soldering, not mine. Let's have a little look at that. And that's it soldered back on.